Moving on now, as Moscow's streets almost crack under the pressure of the masses of transport, local government says that new, environmentally friendly public transport is almost ready to hit the roads. But while Muscovites might soon be able to breathe more easily, may they also end up paying more. Primetime's Peter Oliver finds out. Moscow's roads are full to bursting point with cars, buses and trucks, all pumping out fumes harmful to both the environment and people. The city government is hoping to tackle the problem by making 25% of public transport emission-free by 2012. This is ecologically clean transport that will use a hydrogen fuel cell to generate power. First of all, we are planning to start off this program in Moscow and hope to spread it to the rest of Russia by the years 2013 and 2015. As representatives from all over the world gather in Copenhagen to discuss climate change, the scientific and industrial department of the Moscow government recognise man's hand in the warming of the earth and are trying to find a way to tackle it. It has been established that global warming is a direct consequence of pollution and automobile transport or car fuel emissions are the main pollutants in big Russian cities, about 80 percent. The only remedy to this problem, as I see it, is transition to alternative ecologically clean fuels such as hydrogen. As good as the plan sounds to have zero emission vehicles on Moscow's roads, the reality is that recycling and green policies aren't popular among Russians. Evgeny Balashov believes that better education is needed if Russia is to cut its emissions. The people, its leaders and the country should have the will to change this approach. Society hasn't yet woken up to this problem. It hasn't yet realized that we can drive nature to a state when some ecological processes will become irreversible. There is such a will in Moscow. Of course, that's not enough in proportion to the rest of Russia. But at least we have a chance to model green technologies in such a big megapolis as Moscow. The revolutionary new engine that's going to be powering the emission-free vehicles was created by the Kompomash Corporation here in Russia. It uses a new kind of hydrogen fuel cell. We've developed a new generation engine which consists of a motor wheel and impulse condensers, which first consume the braking energy and then set the engine in motion. That makes the whole cycle much cheaper. The first vehicles powered by clean fuel to hit the streets will be minibuses or marshrutka. Some will be solely electric, but others will be testing out the new hydrogen fuel cell, which could revolutionise the way we travel around the city. Well, with Moscow choking under car emissions, it seems hard to believe that in just under two years, we could see a massive drop-off in the amount of fumes being put into the air. But if this project goes as planned, that could be a reality, meaning cleaner air for the city and the people of Moscow. Peter Oliver, Primetime Russia, R2.